As a service provider, you're responsible for protecting your customers' data and you should always know the status of your customers' backups and replications. Helping customers restore must be a simple routine operation where you show off your service excellence. The combination of StorageCraft and ConnectWise make this possible. For those not familiar with StorageCraft, StorageCraft is an industry-leading data protection software and disaster recovery service provider. For this tutorial, I'll be discussing the two products that currently integrate to ConnectWise Automate, Shadow Protect and Image Manager. Shadow Protect is a full image backup software that backs up the entire image of computers as often as every 15 minutes. Shown here, I have SPX running on a Windows server backing up the C and recovery volumes to a local volume. But it could also back up to a network share, and I'm doing incremental backup every four hours. Restores from Shadow Protect backups are very flexible. Here's a list of all my available recovery points in time. From any of these points, I can restore individual files, restore to VHD, VHDX, or VMDK virtual hard drive files, restore to a bare metal machine even with dissimilar hardware, or instantly virtual boot the backup to a running VM. For this overview, I won't dive into all the more powerful recovery modes, but StorageCraft offers comprehensive training and certification programs with self-paced web and instructor-led options. Moving along to the second product that currently integrates with Automate, StorageCraft Image Manager. If you need to perform incremental backups at high frequency, such as every 15 minutes to a few hours, Image Manager is used to maintain the retention levels of your backups. If you backed up every few hours and kept every backup, you'd certainly run out of space, so Image Manager allows you to configure how many backups to keep and for how long. As you can see from the backups list, I have hourly backups for a few days, daily backups for a week or so, and weekly backups going back a few months. Image Manager is what's maintaining this retention. While retention management is great, Image Manager has several other much more valuable features such as off-site replication. Image Manager can easily amplify your data availability by replicating ShadowProtect backups to one or more offsite locations, one of yours or StorageCraft's disaster recovery cloud where the machines can be virtualized. For those not familiar with ConnectWise Automate, Automate is a very robust remote monitoring and management software that allows you to greatly increase your level of service excellence. Automate provides you with incredible visibility into your supported environments and eliminates any blind spots you have before they turn into major problems. One area of blind spots that every service provider worries about is backup and replication status. As a service provider responsible for protecting a customer's data, you should know at all times exactly what the status of your customer's backups and replications are. This applies to everyone in the service organization, from the help desk staff to sales reps to network managers, all the way up to the owner of the business. Everyone should be able to see that a customer's data is safely backed up and replicated, and when a customer has an incident requiring those backups to be restored, there's never any panic or worry that backups aren't available. You and everyone in the organization knows they're available, and data restoration events are simple routine operations that allow you to show off your service excellence. The combination of StorageCraft and ConnectWise make this possible. So let's have a look at this backup and replication visibility. Inside Automate, under Tools, StorageCraft, you'll see a global overview of all backup and replication status from Shadow Protect and Image Manager. Commonly, providers refer to this as the fleet view. In this view, you can see we have tiles, each with a high-level summary of info. For Shadow Protect version 5, there are two backup jobs, and both were successful in their last backup. Clicking on the tile shows more detail. For Shadow Protect SPX, there are seven jobs and one having an error on its last backup. For Image Manager, there are seven folders of backups being managed, one has an error, and there are a total of five replication jobs, four of which are OK and one is out of date. Inside Automate, there's a detailed view of a computer called Computer Management, and inside Computer Management, you can access detailed pages about Shadow Protect and Image Manager, known as the plugin pages. On the Shadow Protect SPX plugin page, you can see more details about job setup, status, and see a detailed history of backups. On the Image Manager plugin page, you can see details about each managed folder and detailed status of replication jobs. In this example, we see there's a replication job to StorageCraft Cloud and that the most recent backup replicated was the backup from the previous night. 
we can also adjust our tolerance of how out of date a replication can be before it's considered not okay. Being able to see all status interactively is great, but you also need to have tickets created when there are backups or replications that are not happening as expected. Automate allows you to do this using something called an internal monitor. I think of an internal monitor as an automated technician that creates tickets when it sees something is not as expected and can close a ticket when that something returns to a normal state. As an example, say you have an SLA that requires a backup of some machines every four hours. You can create an internal monitor that checks the group of machines set to a four hour backup SLA and if any of them goes more than four hours without a backup, Automate can create a ticket for you. In this demo setup, I have just such a monitor and it's showing that there are problems detected. If I drill into the monitor, I'll see that the machine named Jenkins is in a failed state. But in the fleet view, Jen Jenkins shows us OK, so what's going on? The fleet view shows the status of the most recent backup, which is OK, but it occurred last night at 8, 8 p.m. The internal monitor specifically checks the age of the backup, and since it's been more than four hours, it's in a failed state. In summary, you're responsible for protecting your customer's data and you should know at all times exactly what the status of your customer's backup and replications are. This applies to everyone in the organization from the help desk staff to network managers all the way up to the owner. Everyone needs to be able to see this data safely backed up and replicated. And when a customer has an incident that needs restoration, there's never any panic or worry that the backups aren't available. You know they're available and data restoration events are simple routine operations where you show off your service excellence. The combination of storage craft and connect wise make this possible.